It's showtime. Rocket Hundred and welcome to Pokemon Heart Gold, the Kickstarter to my 2018 year with YouTube. Oh boy, I've been looking forward to playing this game for a while. But originally, this was a game that I was going to play for my 2016 year, but I decided to cancel it because this game was going to be a hell of a long game. And I think Black and White hits one and two kind of fit the description of that one. But anyway, let's get into it. First, say the important things about this game. Uh, here's a, what I have to say about that. No info needed. <sighs> huh? What? It's already that late? Oh no, I overslept! It's like 10 to 2 in the afternoon here, Pacific Daylight Time. Wait, is it Eastern Savings Time? Never mind. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but I don't call myself Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things that you, you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Like we didn't see that one coming. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, at other times we work together. If we use a Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds, a battle and develop. Oh, oh. I don't develop close bonds with them. Never mind. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Would you please uh, tell me? Of course, I am the guy. So you're a boy then? Yes. Please tell me your name. Alrighty. My name that I love so much. Well, not really. That's all I have to repeat. I got many people mispronounce my well misspell my name so many times and into the point of my magic I change it in the future so that's how many times it gets to happen my name is Derek there we go your name is Derek indeed Derek are you ready your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold fun experiences difficult experiences there's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Oh god, we've been pixelated! Alright. So we really can't do much of anything at the very moment, so why don't we head on downstairs? Hi Derek, you're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I also forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. This is your trainer card. 
Here you can save a record of your progress. Thank you. These are also rather helpful. Just try, just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Which actually is something I do need to do really quickly. Fast text speed. That's for the frame. There we go. I want to try to keep it as themed as possible. So now we're here in New Barn Town and we're here a beautiful afternoon here. Why hello there! Huh. What about that was all about? Maybe we'll find out more about that later, but hey! We have a bit of a sneaky guy here. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Hey! Fine. You wanna tech? I like your bag! Thank you, it's very... avant-garde. Yo, Derek! I Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Oh, whoop the freaking deal. Um, who are you? Hi, Derek. Lyra is upstairs. She's playing games with her Pokemon as usual. You didn't bring your Pokemon? Oh, I should have known. You don't have your own Pokemon yet. Well, I hope I didn't uh, hurt your feelings, Derek. Ah, don't worry about it. You know what? We'll see Lyra in a little bit. Because, like I said, we'll see for what all is in store later on. And, frankly, we don't want to keep the old man waiting for too long. This guy! Hey, Derek, I've been waiting for you! Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. Before the Pokeballs were invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So, I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk inside this Pokemon outside of this Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The divisor over there has some Pokemon for you to choose from. Oh boy. Oh hey, I got an email. Hmm, uh-huh. Okay. Hey listen, I have this acquaintance that people who call Mr. Pokemon. He's finding weird things and ra raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time is real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know! You could go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose on one of the Pokemon over there. Alright. Touch a Pokeball to see what Pokemon is inside. So from right here, we're going to go ahead and talk about the starter Pokemon that we're going to be seeing throughout this adventure. First off is Chikorita. Chikorita is the typical grass type Pokemon. Fun little trivia. All three of these Pokemon will, will stay as the same type as they are from right now. I think this is the only time when they ever do that. But anyway, um, Chikorita is a Pokemon that I've always said it was probably the most difficult Pokemon to go for. And I recommend this Pokemon if you want to go for a challenge. So if you want to go for a challenge, go for Chikorita. Next up is my personal favorite, Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil! This is basically the Pokemon that is basically the same stats as that of the Charmander line. If you started off with Charmander in the past, you should be able to get right into this Pokemon with next to no problems. Um, I use this Pokemon on so many bases that this is the Pokemon that I grew up with, not Charmander at all. But, if you want to have a really good Pokemon, Cyndaquil is your guy. Finally, we have Totodile. Totodile! This is a very peculiar water type. Like with many water starters, it is isn't the middle of the road choice. But, unlike in many water types, this is actually a bit on the more offensive side. So, you are required to have a water type Pokemon either way. So, if you're looking for a really good water type, Totodile may be a good one. Well, then again, there are so many other good water types out there. But, this is a good thing to, re to consider. So, for the Pokemon that I am going to be going for is... Da -da -da -da! Totodile! You see Totodile from Professor Elm. Yeah! Give it a nickname, Joe? I will give it a nickname. I am going to be naming him... Chomper! 
Named after that little T-Rex from the land before time. Shop with the nickname you want to give? Yes. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. This Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north and low past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Derek. You don't get out much, do you? Oh, hello, Derek. I want you to have these to help him with your task. He gives us, I think, five potions. We'll look more into that. Pokemon are weak at the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Let's see. Yep, five. I'm really glad they actually got these and were separated out so you could carry more stuff. It's actually been a very good recurring factor since, I think, Generation 3 or something like that? But anyway, having a limited amount of stuff that you can have in your bag has always been a major problem for many of us fans. Derek, so you picked a ton of dial. What's a cute Pokemon you have? When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. Why, I think I shall. Mom! I'm home! Oh, Derek, that's a cute Pokemon you have. The professor Elmer must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elmer has a task for you, you said. What kind of task? See, that sounds a little difficult, but when someone makes that kind of a question to you, it must be important. Hold on, I completely forgot. The Pookie Care came back from the repair shop. Here you go. And now we can call people. The Pokemon Gear, or Pokey Gear, that's often called, so a trainer, every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use a Pokey Gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yes, I do. Just power the Pokey Gear and she tells you anyway! Come on, Mom. Ugh. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Indeed. So anyway, um, now that I'm thinking about it, we have yet to visit this person's house. And I promise that we will be running quickly later on, guys. Pictures and evolved Pokemon. In fact, this fact was first discovered by Professor Elm. I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. So famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. <sighs> I wish I could be a researcher like him. Hey, hey, hey! You keep that high head spirit going. You will be very surprised at what you could do. Three words: law of attraction. Wait one second! Like I said, you don't get out much, do you? I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. And wouldn't you know it? The first person that gives us the Pokemon is the first one I'll be getting. Why'd you know? Second person. I'll call you if anything comes up. Which I'm pretty sure will happen pretty soon. But anyway, welcome to Route 29. Route 29 is your standard Route 1 on the location. And since we have a Pokemon by our side, we can now go ahead and get into the four new Pokemon that you can find. Like this one. This is Pidgey. Pidgey is your generic first uh, normal flying type out there. Um, this one, I've always considered it to be... A decent Pokemon to start off with, but then ditching it for something later. Especially here in Generation 2, when there is a lot of better flying types out there to go for. And, like I said, if you want one by all means, it's actually not a bad idea to have a Pidgey, but we can't catch it quite yet, so there's that for you. Next up is Rattata. Rattata! Everyone knows that this thing is a really good HGM user. It definitely fits the description perfectly for this particular region. Um, I recommend that you catch a Rattata. Mostly because it's a really good uh, HM slave. But like I said, we can't catch it at the very moment, nor do we have any HMs. But it is not a bad idea to have something like this on standby for our side quests that you're going to be doing later on. Next up is another good HM slave. And our, I guess technically our fourth and second generation Pokemon to look into. Sentrant! Sentrant is another good HM slave. Even when it evolves later on, it can typically learn Surf. So if you need a Surf HM user, that's not a bad idea to you. So if you don't really want to have a Water type, you should recommend his Sentra because you will need Surf for a majority of the Pokemon you're going to be facing up against and the location of where you're going up against. Lastly, only found at night. And yes, this is actually a game that uses day and night to its advantage. Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot? 
I kind of consider this one to be kind of the special version of Pidgey. It has some really good special attack and special defense upon its final evolution, even learning some pretty good moves of like confusion and hypnosis. So if you want to have a really good interesting normal flying type, this is a good one. What a take a break, so I save it and record my progress. I wonder how long you've been standing there, buddy. Might be getting a little bit of a belly right there. Now, the reason why I'm showing off some of these battles is because I actually really do want to get my chomper some experience because, believe it or not, you're going to need to get some experience into this because for what's coming up, you're going to need it. Just saying. And, wow, you only took one damage? Man. You're becoming quite the Chomper! In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I do want to look more into Chomper. See what all it is that to expect from, from my Pokemon itself. Alright, so as a jolly old nature! Hey, just like an Ashes one! So I think that helps with more... Less special attack and more speed. That's actually not bad! Since, like I said, Totodile is mostly on the offensive side, so it doesn't really come to any surprise that it doesn't like that. And of course, Torrent powers up water to moves by a pinch when its HP is below one third. And, like you saw on the bios from the past, you pretty much just saw the way how it works from there. Um, this. Let's see here. Is it an apricorn tree? So there's nothing to put it in, there's no reason to take it. Might want to remember this for something a little bit later. One for Pokemon that appear only at night. There's only one, like I said, Hootoot's the only Pokemon you can find here at night. But, I do want to quickly say, they actually take the use of finding Pokemon at day and night to its fullest advantage in this game. I mean, Sentient right there, I think they can find most of those during the day? But either way, they are really good to take into consideration when needed to. Okay, took three damage. So now my Water Gun should be at its best but with the torrent ability. Oh! How close were you? Is it even. Uh, what? Ha! <laughs> uh, I'm getting a new day job boom when I'm back in my Exegale Darkness LP. Uh. Hey, welcome to Chetty Grove City! Hey, we're being talked by an old man. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell! That's okay, everyone is a rookie at some point. If you like, I can teach you a few things! Okay then, follow moi! Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so keep, try keeping up. And you're going at the exact same speed. This is a Pokemon Center, they heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on a lot, so you better learn about them. This is a Pokemon! Uh, they sell Pokeballs or catch a wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling a Pokemon there. If you go a little further, you'll save Mr. Pokemon's house. This is the sea, as you can see. <laughs> Some Pokemon found only water. Here, it's my house. If you're ever keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Yeah, you didn't that. Don't worry, these are brand new. Okay, I was about to say, old man, if you're going to be doing that. Ew! The instruction reads touch the sprint button on the touch screen to sprint. It also says hold the B button down to sprint. Unless it'd be like me. Setting it by default, and finally we can have a zip in our step! Like, shoo. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up you know, Chomper real quickly because, well, like I said, Chomper here is gonna be relying on the Pokemon Center a lot. So, yeah! I say everything's off now to a pretty dang good start, and we still have a little bit of some time, so. What do you say we make our way up to Route hey, to 30 and actually can we buy anything at the Pokemon Center? I don't think we can at the very moment. Let's see here. We can buy more potions, we can buy antidotes, uh, which help our heart with poison. And paralysis here are uh, 
paralyzed here. It takes care of uh, paralysis, but I think we're good at the very moment. Since my Pokemon is only at level 7, we're going to be seeing some pretty low level Pokemon right up to me. Never mind that. <sighs> a minute. Forgot about one thing. This is another token for me. Take it. The guy gets it loaded into the map card on Darius Pokegear. I don't know why I was on the new land. Put the Pokegear on the touch screen and then select the town map icon. You'll see the map of the region you're currently in. The Pokegear becomes more useful as you add cards. Or we should look at your journey. So I guess what we do is so I want to take a look at it. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, oh, this is where the layout of the Jodo region is at. So we started right here, and we were heading off west. So Mr. Pokemon Star is going to be right around here. And we basically got a lot to explore. But for those of us that grew up with the second generation, we should expect such on the matter. So right here we have our first Pokemon into our encounter. Aren't you a little low level here to be a Metapod? But either way, I guess while we're out here, why don't we go ahead and quickly cover the six new Pokemon that we can find. One of them is Caterpie, as well as the evolution of Metapod, which is saying right here. Um, Caterpie and Metapod, these are exclusive Pokemon that you can only find in Card Gold. And um, I will say this, they are a pretty good Pokemon, and you can catch them out at any of the forms that you're going to be seeing. But, if you were going to start off with any of them, I recommend you start off with uh, Caterpie. Because Metapods will be only be found out here in the wild with only Harden. Next up is its poison counterparts of Weedle and Kakuna. These are the Pokemon that you can find during your playthrough of Silver or Soul Silver. Um, these are technically the very first poison type Pokemon that you can find. And they are actually not bad Pokemon. So if you want to go for any of those Pokemon, by all means, they are pretty good Pokemon. But like I said, if you want to go for its final evolution of Beedrill, I recommend you catch it as a Weedle at this point. Next up is Spinarak. Spinarak is a Bug Poison type, and it's a Pokemon that can only be found in Gold and Heart Gold. Um, this is kind of a mediocre Pokemon. Um, the real, real, real problem that I have with it is that... It is very weak, and it takes a while for it to evolve into its final evolution. So if you want to go for a good bug type, any one of these is better, except for this one, if you're playing Silver or Heart or Soul Silver, which is Ladybug. Ladybug, five-star Pokemon, my ass! However, not all hope of Ladybug is lost, though. Even though that it starts off very weak, it actually becomes a pretty decent special wall. Like, I think it's like a base 120 of such of a special defense. So, that's something to kind of take it into consideration in. But, let me ask you something. Do you want a Pokemon that knows the move Comet Punch, which is basically another version of Double Slap? Yeah, I didn't think so. So, yeah, I guess it seems like everything's going on to a pretty damn good start. I love this so much. So, um, what do we have in here? Let's see here. People you know, usually come to my house looking for a Pokemon's house. You didn't mean to visit my house, right? What kind of it? Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruits so once a day. I have one of those trees too. Apricorns are really need something. You get Pokeballs and other things. They're quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be. I'm so happy that I'll give you this. The Apricorn Box. With the apricorn box, you can carry so many apricorns. You'll be a decent apricorn collector. Um, these have a variety of different usage. So let's go ahead and pluck this out. It's a green apricorn. I'll post, I think I'll post on screen for what this says because I'm not 100% sure about what this is. And if I don't, then I think this one is mostly meant to be used for catching fast Pokemon. Like I said, I'll leave it in a text on screen to see if I was right or wrong, and if there isn't any, I was right, and if there is something there, oh well. And, uh, we're not gonna be able to get any repels for quite some time. This is really gonna be a pain, but then again, I'd like to get my Chomper up to a pretty decently high level, because for something that's gonna be coming up in, in a little bit, but as of for right now, I don't think, I think we might just stop in front of Mr. Pokemon's house, and then 
We'll call it quits for this episode. Because I'm actually running a little bit low on time, and I want to get rid of this Metapod. And I think this should be enough for a level 8. Yes, it is. It's going to rage. Feel my anger! Like this anger that I run into probably another canopy. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves an antidote. Yeah, I don't think we can run into any Pokemon trainers as of yet, but right up here, can I get through there without a random encounter? Okay, oh crap. Go! The first patch you guys I enter, we run us out into another canopy. But then again, I should call out canopy that's the first Pokemon out in the wild, so maybe this is something I should look into, maybe. But we'll see how it goes. There we go. Oh, right here. These pink ones, I believe, will give you love balls. Which are great for catching, I think, the, the opposite attraction of the Pokemon? I'm, I think it's something like that. And I thought I was going to stop from when we go before we went inside, but everyone doing this. It was I who sent an email to Professor El earlier. And you're walking very slowly. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. We attained the mystery egg. A friend of mine from an Ecrotech had gave it to me. But you can't find this kind of egg in Jodo. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon Evolution! That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You're returning to Professor Elm? Here, the Pokemon should have some rest. Why, thank you. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Derek. I was just visiting my friend, Professor Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm some research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See. This is the latest version of the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia! I'd like you to have it. So we get ourselves to the Pokédex. Go make many kinds of Pokémon and complete that Pokédex. But I stay too long. I have... Ugh. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Derek, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we will meet. This is number, so I'm just sorry to be on the safe side. Okay, dude, chill out for one goddamn minute. First off, you're gonna have to be patient because we are actually all out of time for this episode, so you have to wait until tomorrow. So anyway, next time on Pokemon Heart Gold, we're gonna say what's all the hub -ba 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 going on with Professor Elm back at his research lab. All right, see you guys then.